WABC Big 2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Oh, good evening, everybody. We've got that cold front moving in right now to West Texas, and it's really dropping our temperatures down already as well. It's really ramping up our wind speeds. You can see our, our horizon out there is just bouncing around like crazy, indicating that our sky tracker is not very stable right now. And that's due to those strong wind gusts that are pushing that colder air in from the north and east right now. And again, really, really dropping our temperatures down. Now, you kind of can't see it, but there is a lot of cloud cover out there right now. Uh, so as we continue into the overnight hours and getting a little closer to sunrise, we may actually see some wintry mix developing even here in the basin, though the eastern basin is going to have the highest chance at that. Either way, thanks to Roofs by Nicholas. Great look outside at those windy and cold conditions. Uh, but switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that there is still a steady stream of moisture rolling in from the south and west, tracking off to the north and east. A little bit more of that humidity is throughout the central and eastern parts of Texas, but here in west Texas, there is still no shortage of that humidity in the mid and upper parts of the atmosphere, which is indicated here by that cloud cover, which is very, very apparent here on our satellite and radar. Now, as we continue through the rest of the evening time, that cold air is really going to mingle with a lot of that humidity. Not only is it going to be dropping our temperatures down way below what we saw earlier today, but it's also going to possibly give us a chance for that wintry mix. Now, of course, it has to be below freezing for that wintry mix to take place. And as we do get to tomorrow morning, that means low temperatures will come in well below normal compared to this time of the year. Now, as we do get there, notice that cloud cover that we've got out there right now just increases, kind of blossoms outward as a lot of moisture rushes in from the south and east. Now, a lot of pink is beginning to show up here on the satellite and radar model off to our east, which indicates that wintry mix. We could be looking at freezing rain, maybe a little sleet out there, and possibly just a couple of snowflakes. So make sure to drive carefully tomorrow morning. Even though most of that activity is off to our east outside of our area, there is still a pretty good chance for some of that wintry mix to translate a little further to the west and a little closer to home here in the central basin. Now this model also wants to place a couple of very stray snow showers here across some parts of the northern Trans-Pecos and the central basin. One of those is placed there right in the early part of the afternoon. And then as we continue on into the evening hours, the model tries placing another one of those stray snow showers across the basin in the overnight hours. Now I'm not so optimistic that we'll see any snowfall. I think by the time we get into the afternoon and evening hours, it will be cold enough to support snow. It's just not going to be humid enough here at the surface to see that. So I expect our real, really only chance to see that uh, wintry mix is going to be in the early part of the day, right around or just before sunrise, say between about 5 a.m. and maybe as late as 8 a.m. Chances only remain about a 20% here in Odessa Midland to see any of that wintry mix, possibly sleet, possibly freezing rain. But if we do get any of that, make sure to drive very, very carefully and just treat the roads as if they're icy to tomorrow throughout the day to be on the safe side. Lows will be at 23, highs at 30, and then back down to 20 again for Thursday morning. So we'll stay below freezing for quite a while, Madeline Carson. But the good news, we do pick up into the 50s as early as Thursday. Well, that's good. And, and like you had mentioned there, just don't be in a rush tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Leave early, that's for sure. Very good tips. Give yourself a little extra space, too, between you and other drivers. Just to offset that loss in traction. I'm already over the rain after yesterday, so I don't want to see any more rain, <laughs> Now personally. sleet's coming at you. Yeah, yeah that's even more You never fun, know. Right? Watch out. Yeah, be careful. All right, thanks, Chase. Thanks.